Today I'm showing you guys FDP client for Minecraft Java Edition and now to get this you want to head over to their official website I will link this right down in the description below here you can either click on this download latest build button or download it through their releases tab over here I'm going to do that because that way it won't download as a zip and that's just easier for this tutorial so I can click on download right over there you want to locate their latest release over here then scroll down and click on the .jar file and your download will start automatically. Now to use FTP clients, you do need to make sure that you have Minecraft Forge installed for 1.8.9. If you don't have this yet or you're not sure where to get it, then I will link it right down in the description below. Anyways, for right now, as you can see, I've got FTP client right over here in my downloads. If you also have this, we can simply place this in our mods folder. To get there, press on the Windows and R button at the same time time and then in a box that pops up you want to type in app data then in this location go into the folder called roaming then dot minecraft and then you might need to scroll down a little until you find the mods folder over here just going to delete that anyways you can simply drag fdp client right into the mods folder just like so and once you've done that you can close up both of these and open up the minecraft launcher here you want to make sure as i said that you have forge 1.8.9 selected and if you have that you can simply click on play so here as you can see I've loaded into FDP client and they've got a whole custom GUI thing going on here with a bunch of information on it. Anyways usually I'd head into single player but there's currently a bug going on where the client is a little unstable and single player maybe it kind of crashes every single time you load into it. So we're not going to do that I'm just going to be heading into a multiplayer server right now and I'll show you guys how to use it. So FDP client is a client that's actually based on Liquid Bounce for Minecraft uh, 1.8.9. And uh, yeah, not gonna lie, it's actually pretty solid. So you can, as expected, press on the right shift button and that I was going to open up the Click GUI. Not sure why it looks so scuffed right now. But no, Liquid Bounce is an amazing client and so I'm sure you guys will love FDP as well. It is incredibly good and one of the most important things is obviously that it is still actively in development. They're improving the client every day which is amazing. Um, you'll notice that it also looks a lot like Liquid Bounce, looks actually a lot like the newer Liquid Bounce UI as well. Right over here they've got a whole bunch of things, they've really got everything you need um, and of course one of the bonuses of it being active is that there's also some nice bypassing configs that still like bypass in real time which is chill now i guess one of the drawbacks of the client being in development is that that it isn't completely finished yet um in the sidebar over here we can click on it and then we can find a ui customization area which isn't completely finished yet but there is also a configs area over here this actually contains a whole bunch of up-to-date configs for bypassing anti-cheats and servers obviously fantastic i haven't personally tested like all of these to see how well they work but even just having this is a huge plus like a config manager with a ui on a free open source client that's honestly insane uh we got this color area over here where you can choose from a bunch of different themes to uh, set the client in which is pretty cool and then there's also this background area where you can customize the background of the client too so i mean that's obviously it, it, this this client is fantastic why the fuck do I have titties, bro? What? Uh, yeah, that's better. Why is that on by default, bro? Oh, so, uh, but you didn't hear, you didn't hear it from me. But I'm pretty sure this is like the best uh, bypassing blocks MC client. That's embarrassing. Or well, one of the best at least. Anyways, yeah, in case you didn't notice that, we've also got this incredibly autistic things going on in our screen over here. Let me actually low key turn those off right now. But um, though apart from that and I guess I'll just turn that one off as well. Where is it? Uh, dash trail. Okay, so, like, apart from that, the UI on this client is incredibly clean as well. Just like a look at the top left over there where we've got some of the uh, utilities, some of the information. Looks incredibly good, um, incredibly well made. This client is, as you can see, we've got all these customization menus over here. If you right-click on these utilities, and, of course, clicking on them to turn them on and clicking on them once again to turn them off. We've even got... Not nice little icons here for each category in the array list so i mean at the very least you guys should definitely all check out this client um i definitely highly recommend it but for right now though that was basically that You're not gonna be getting any java hacking gameplay from me just yet although i do actually kind of want to do that soon but currently i'm not really 
a skilled enough hacker, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, for right now though, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do of course hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.